how I took a flower. Um, and here it is. My rosemary. It's very nice and soft now, easy to chew. Instead of like hard and like a stick. Probably from the rain and the fresh growth. This is my uh, French flower bush, which was blooming not long ago, but it's this nice dark color right now. This was called a wandering Jew, where I was. I don't know what it's called other places, but I was always pretty offended by the name, having been a wanderer against my will for years. And this is a variety called Double Knockout. And this is my knockout. I don't believe either of them is scented. This bush is so pretty, isn't it? There's an airplane here, if you can see it. This one is not like the one this morning. It's different. Yet they never fly like that. The flight paths are not like that. Um, and... I believe it's around 3 o'clock and the sun is... Here's my front door. Here's the sun. I will go inside and show you what I'm wearing today. Before I let Coraline the royal doggin, who is formerly, formerly the High Queen's Hound, God's Pup, is her title, so, um, so this is what I'm wearing today, look all blown, um, thus, if I can see in the mirror, there's like a moth on my face. Should be like not looking so uppish, but like that. And um, suddenly appeared in my front yard, and I thought, how strange! I have shells in my front yard, but this is like a totally different kind of shell and very beautiful and so on. Um, and full of dirt, and I soaked it in water. And um, when I took it out of the water, it was a skull. And um, I was made to make it ready for today. And I um, have no idea why. But I bought some, um, um, I, I've made a lot of brooches in my life. And I bought uh, the brooch backs at Rock Barrel. Um, and, uh, and they were silver, I believe. But um, they, the whole bag went missing because there were some who didn't want me to wear this today. I have no idea why. Um, but Christ himself showed me where this was because I had lost where I put it. Or someone did. Showed me where it was. And then, but Christ had put a rose gold um, brooch pen on the back of it. Um, the back being safe to put. A marker of me on, um, though it's a death's head. Again, God made all the skeletons, and so it's your bodies. And there's nothing dark about skeletons save when they're dead, you know, being gross and should be buried. Um, but I don't believe that skeletons, it is hot in here from the heat fan thing. Um, I don't believe that it's right at all for skeletons to be stolen from dead people, or even the mummies or so on, and then studied, and tearing them out of where they were buried. You don't know why they were buried that way. You don't know if there might be harm if you take them out. You don't know if the simplest skeleton you bought was from a creature 
now a mortal who is given the ability to avenge their uh, defiled dead body um, from heaven easily, where there's no retribution for them for doing this. Um, but there are many such things hanging in classrooms um, all over worlds to study them, supposedly, but all of them can easily make plaster casts. There's not a reason why you should have dead people's actual skeletons instead of them having a decent burial. And there were a lot of places where, I think of you, India, who I love, there were a lot of bodies of all ages, of loved ones, of people too poor to eat. And so they sold the dead body of their loved one because um, their loved one they felt was not inside of it, you know. Um, and they were not. And when people die, they leave their bodies, always. Um, and they go somewhere. Um, not all achieve immortality. Some achieve death alone. Some are immortally um, killed over and over and over or burned alive continually. Um, and having seen some of this, I can't even speak of it. I won't be able to finish. Um, but their body may have been the last happy place they were. And you should bury it with respect and not worship their dead bodies. Um, nor hang... Um, them up places, um, thinking, oh, but, I mean, these people in the past were compelled to sell their dead loved ones, and a lot of the skeletons in classrooms that have been around since, you know, as far back as the 1800s or the 1920s or so on, as late as the 1950s, bodies were being sold, or 1960s in some places, bodies were being sold. The skin and flesh removed. I won't see what happened to it. Um, it was not respectful. And their poor skeletons, the shyest of women, virgins, um, young shy women who never would have let people see them even with skin on, are even now hanging in your classrooms, okay? Young men who were noble creatures, okay, if poor. Um, who had maybe giftings of song, or who wrote beautiful love letters, or so on, okay? They're hanging up in your classrooms for you to poke at, for people to have poked at them for all these years. Do you not think that that might be offensive? Because it is offensive um, to so many um, who understand the history of these things, and you must bury these and get plaster cast skeletons and make a plaster cast of someone who donates their skeleton and you have um, a signed uh, agreement from them, not from their relatives after their death, okay? Um, because they will remember this uh, if they go to heaven and uh, though they may change their opinion about it later, may honor that. And be careful with people's bodies. And treat them respectfully. And do bury them. That's all. This is my outfit entire today. So. Many of you believe that um, by not burying the body, you trap the soul on earth or something. Or some places, it's horrifying. They parade out the dead annually. This, neither of these things is true. But what is true, um, you will not hear. So treat these respectfully because I desire it and God desires it and Christ desires it. Not in that order. God created these bodies and they were carefully nourished all their lives by those who loved them largely and you hang them up and shame them.